Hello guys, this is part 3 for Washington Legion, we're going to recruit those two Elvin guys, and let's get right into the video, we'll do probably one or two uh, missions, probably um, free that operative that is worthless, because I don't really want getaway drivers, and then we'll probably do that um, armor, whatever mission. Let's get right into it. My mic will be muted. I'll unmute it if I have to. AI giant broke a tech announced today that they are canceling Daybreak, the neural mapping technology designed to allow people to live forever. A spokesperson for the company told press the decision to shutter the project was made out of respect for the memory of their founder, the late Sky Larson. What the company has in store following the death of their illustrious leader remains to be seen. Our potential recruit has been trying to take down a nearby Clan Kelly weapons dealer. You could hack their optic to download incriminating data on them. Ah, so you are dead sec. I've been wanting to meet you. We caught wind of your work on the NHS. Nice one. Not good enough to stop Clan Kelly. They stole many hundreds of organs before I was able to seal the exploit. Ah, not good news. I want to take back what they stole, but I'm hardly a match for these gangsters on my own. All right, we'll do our bit. Thank you. Do this and I will owe you a favor. Trust me, this is a good thing for you. The vehicle. What's next? Please repair I suppose our friend would possible. like it if you took the organs to a hospital, but, but you could also technically eat them. I don't have a strong opinion either way. Attention. Congratulations on your great victory. I'll let the hospital staff know about this special delivery while you call our hacker friend. Done. Good. No more rich assholes rigging the system in their favor. Hey, you know what? You're exactly the kind of person DeadSec is looking for. You should join us. It's fun. Yes. I think we'll make a formidable team. You'll fit right in. The more people willing to fight the system, the better. Yes, I'm ready to go bastard hunting with you lot. Brilliant. The kidnapper is nearby, carrying on with some unseemly new associates. You should be able to find our missing operative's location on his optic. GPS analysis complete. I've got a bead on our kidnapped operative. I need the coordinates. Our kidnapped operative is here. Mind the hench people on your way in.
Seems like you got away. Our friend is back in fighting shape and another enemy of DedSec has been thwarted. Nicely done. Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local board of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. So we're confronting the head of the PMC that has been controlling London. I can do that. Where to? Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we can find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. Right, let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organization to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Which is very suspicious. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14 which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. I'm honestly kind of impressed with just how many traps he's got set up in here. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. I'm on it. The traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. Chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. Okay, let's calm down and talk. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Albion doesn't take resistance fighters. What, dead sec? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Wait, wait, stop! Albion knows your location. You have to run! Now! 
Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish! Look, cuss is worse than you know. Yes, we already know this. Come on, why else would I come here otherwise? Maybe, cause Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking Merck's work. Listen, we want your help. Cass is no friend of ours. He tried to end us and he had a hand in the bombings. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what- Move, move, oh, move! fuck! An Albion squad's closing in on you. I guess you weren't shit. lying about that part. Fuck, think, Amish, think. Shit, fine. Move the table. I'll buy you some time. Just go. No! <laughs> move it, move it! Shit! Don't just stand there. Albion won't be fussy about who they shoot. Chief, that was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something, and I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. Working on an upgrade of his private police state? Brilliant. Does this Auto prick ever take a day then. off? Whatever he's up to, we need eyes on that meeting. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. Okay, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be inside with security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. A word of caution now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cass will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected by your former colleagues or this operation is a bust. This new project the director's presenting on stage is a game. Nigel won't have anything important on this floor. You seem to know a lot more about him than the average person. Yeah. I was Albion too. If you hadn't tweaked to that. Me and Cass were close once. Looked up to him. <laughs> he was bigger than life, fam. Literally a tech genius. And I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. That's why I joined up. Seriously? Didn't find out he was a murderous prick until later. Themis, our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. I promise you, 
And with the launch of Project Emmys, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you called us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. <laughs> no, it's all right. The Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well, for one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the defense minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. <gasps> it's the human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project, after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh... No. We'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard. But here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. Attention! A building my security sweep has been initiated due to Dr. Orange. I warned you about that forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. I need an exit, Bagley. The catacombs, fam. Albion's top secret project is an automated killing machine. And it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch. We have to get Themis out of his hands. I'll prepare a briefing. Will we see you there, Hamish? Pretty face, not risking, remember? But patch me in. You and me got some scheming to do, Bagley. what we know about Nigel Cass. He's rolling out something called Project Themis. The lack of information on its own is worrisome, but what little we do know is Cass wishes to remove the human element from law enforcement. We also know he's partnered with Titus, which is never good. Titus does other work with Albion. Nasty shit like autonomous weapons, human targeting algorithms. So Titus is our best lead to fill in the blanks on the secret project, but their security is notoriously difficult to crack. So Hamish has proposed an intriguing solution. Albion's been working on a new microdrone, something my contact told me about. That shit's not even in production yet, but if we get the plans, we can manufacture our own. To bypass Tidy's security? Exactly, exactly. They're weird as fuck. Supposed to do maintenance on Albion's other drones, but the smallness of them means they can slip into places nothing else can. Well, there we have it. Our next step is to infiltrate the Albion drone manufacturing lab and get our hands on schematics. And then you lot were a fun little gadget to break in the Titus. Love it. I'll shoot you the location. Be careful. Albion doesn't like to share his toys. Hey, search protocol. I've downloaded the schematics. You can leave whenever you like. 
Now that we have the schematics, we can make micro drones of our very own. Better move fast on that, Bags. We need to get into Tidus ASAP. Shut down Project Themis before Nigel decides to launch. And with what he was saying, we don't have much time. We've successfully trialled our first micro drone, and it's officially as cute as the Dickens. I've decided to name it Sebastian. Time to break into Titus. And take away Nigel Cass's newest toy, Project Themis. Bagley, any idea where that name comes from? Greek mythology. Themis was the goddess of divine justice. You know, the one with the sword. Ooh, that is so Nigel fucking Cass. See? School's useful for something besides social maladjustment. Find the schematics of the building, and I'll work out the location of the Themis project. You'll be using Sebastian and the rest of the microdrones to bypass security. But first you'll have to get by that laser array. I suggest a spider bot and steady nerves. I'm on it. All right, Sebastian, this is what you and your friends have been training for. Time to crash the security grid for Daddy. Right. Let's see what this micro drone can do. That's the spirit. Should be pretty sick. There are the cores. Destroy them, Sebastian. And for God's sake, be careful. Sebastian. Oh, right. You should be able to access the Themis project room now. London. Once a beacon of civility, now a cesspool of lawlessness. It is clear that humanity can no longer police itself. Fortunately, we don't have to. Welcome to Project Themis. Albion has found a way to apply an existing system, LifeScore, a data aggregator of biometrics, personal information, to our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect Precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Fuck me, I knew it. The life score algorithm, my algorithm. I should have scrubbed it before I left. What do you mean, Hamish? You know how Themis works. No, fam. Well, yeah. This was years ago. We were developing a life score algorithm for what Cass called a peacekeeping system. Supposed to identify vulnerable civilians, not target them. Fuck. So in theory, Themis could be programmed to target anyone based on any number of parameters. Exactly. That's the way Cass thinks. Genius, but twisted. We have to stop this, and I know how. 
We delete the life score data, and Themis is done. Shit. Okay, fine. It is done. Yes, we'll have the award ceremony another time. Get out now. This may be entertaining. I've intercepted an audio transmission from Nigel Cass. No, no, no more excuses. This is my city, and I will not have DedSec ruin my plans for it. Themis was poised to change London, the world, and this group of... And Hamish fucking Balaji? I want them all! They made you all look like fools! They walked calmly into the White Tower, and no one, not one of you, stopped them with all our vaunted security measures. So do any of you have anything to say? Nothing. Well, everyone, and I mean everyone in the organization, will be revetted immediately. Someone help them, that's certain, and we will root them out. This time, we will get them all. Well, that's about done it. Cass is gonna steam about this for a while. No more life score, no more Themis. You did it. Couldn't have pulled it off without your help. Thank you, Hamish. I think we should keep working together. We make a good team. Uh, not much of a joiner, fam. Considering how my days at Albion ended. But I'll be keeping watch on them and Cass. Maybe feed you lots of intel. And there's still the question of Zero Day. Remember them? Completely gutted DedSec 1.0. Cass had a hand in that purge, Bagley, and in the bombings, so we'll gladly accept any help you can give us, Hamish. Cheers. Check that out. I'm kicking ass left and right. That sec is just like Sunday school. You wouldn't have been recruited if DedSec thought you'd be killed that easily. Thank you, Bagley. I already knew that. Don't pay too much attention to Bagley's comments. Excellent job. In the last adventure of Detective Bagley and his occasionally helpful human sidekicks, we discovered that a billionaire tech mogul and a war profiteer both had secret plots to exploit human suffering and murder thousands. A shocking twist, I know. Speaking of the people we most suspect, Mary Kelly's slave trade is bound to be any day now, and we also just received a distress signal from a coffee shop of all places. Maybe the Wi-Fi is down or something. Is that really relevant, Bagley? Yes, obviously there's more to it than that, but I knew I had to make a joke or you just chewed it out. I've marked both leads on your optic. Why you mad? I got a bad bro. Name hot in these streets, no Tabasco. But I'm so stuck, that's a fact, yo. And if you think I'm running, you can run it back, yo. Go on, run it back. You know that I run it. Everything you wanna do, I already done it.